Bruce Bochy and Brian Sabian are being rewarded for the Giants' first winning season in five years. The Chronicle's John Jay is reporting both will come back next season. A formal announcement is expected next week, possibly as soon as Monday. Reality sinking in for Giants fans. This is the final time they'll see their team this year at home. Giants and D-backs score this from the fourth. Pablo Sandoval singles to right, and Justin Upton comes up with a throw that would make Jamarcus Russell proud. Andres Torres scores in the throwing error, one nothing Giants. In the fifth, Torres connects off the foul pole for his sixth homer of the year. Huge day for Torres, a triple shy of the cycle. Tim Lincecum finished off his 09 season in style. Seven innings, no runs, seven more strikeouts. The franchise ends the year with an NL leading 261 Ks and 15 wins. Real classy move by Bruce Bochy. He takes Richard Rillia out, who is playing in his final home game as a Giant, giving the longtime fan favorite one final chance for a standing ovation. Everyone in a good mood. Giants win their home finale 7-3. After the game, a little rookie hazing took place. How long you guys got to wear that? Uh, old plane ride, then the team party at some, some oh, I don't man. know where it's going to be at. We got to go like this through the... <laughs> Looks like Taurus got the best deal with the costume. Welcome to Rocktober in Colorado, where the Rockies are back to the playoffs for the second time in three years after a wild card clinching win over the Brewers. They still have a shot to win the West if they can sweep the Dodgers on the road this weekend. Next time you go to Vegas, you might want to give a call to Mariners TV broadcaster Mike Blowers. Check out his prediction for when Matt Tuyasasopo would hit his first major league home run. Well, I expect him to hit his first big league home run today. He's going to get in a good count today. He's going to get a fastball from Tyler, and he's going to hit it out of left center field. Probably, oh, maybe in the second deck. Oh, on a 3-1 yeah. count. On a 3-1 count. A breaky yeah. ball, fastball. It'll, fast be, it'll, be, a, fastball. No, it'll be a fastball. He's a fastball one. pitcher. He'll 3-1 count. Second at bat. Now the left-handers. 3-1 pitch on the way. Swung on oh. and belted oh. in the left field. <laughs> <laughs> he just missed the second deck. Fly, fly, fly. <laughs> I don't believe it. I see the light. I believe you, Mike. Unbelievable. It is shooting. With a win over the Rams on Sunday, the Niners will be a perfect 3-0 and against the NFC West. And that's a huge start for a team that has not won the division since 2 But don't crown them just yet, especially if their struggles on third down continue. Our own Dennis O'Donnell asked Coach Singletary about their troubles in Minnesota last week. The 49ers were 0 for 11 in third down conversions last week. Why is there such a problem in that area? Uh, it had a lot to do with uh, not so much what we were trying to call, but it had something to do with the headphones sometimes. Uh, it had something to do with the noise. Uh, it happens when you're on the road and you're in a new offense and you're trying to figure out all the little things that you need to do. But um, we will continue to get better. Uh, thankfully, th this is not the end of the season. Thankfully, we're not in the fourth quarter of the season. Uh, if we're talking about the same thing at that particular time, then we got problems, real problems. And this great finish in the high school game comes from our CBS affiliate in Brandon, Vermont. With 1.3 seconds left, the Cougars going for the game-winning field goal from 46 yards out. is short. Casey Babcock catches it, and he's so excited, he starts to celebrate with time left on the clock. No, the Cougars pick it up, score, and win. If you're Babcock, there's no lonelier feeling. 20 to 16 the final. Lesson learned painfully. It ain't over till it's over. And our time is up for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. And for everyone at CBS 5, have a good night.